Let's uh, cross now to Iris Makler in Jerusalem. Iris, the big question is, could Netanyahu convince the far right to accept being in a coalition with an Islamic party? At the moment, it doesn't look like it. He's, if you haven't succeeded in 27 and a half days, I don't see how you're going to succeed in the final eight hours. However, it's a sign of how much Netanyahu dominates politics here that um, even seasoned analysts are saying, well, look, let's just wait and see. You don't know what rabbit he could pull out of his hat. He's also known as the magician. But I think the reality is that it's unlikely, and you can tell that not only because the, uh, the far right simply refuses to countenance having the Arab, that particular Islamist Arab party uh, in the government in any co context at all. But you see that the, the Likud party is now suggesting all these extra rules. Just now, at the very end, they're proposing changing the, the form, the way Israel elects its government. If you want a sporting analogy, they want to change the rules uh, while the game is still being played. That may not be legal, so they're also seeking to enact an override clause for the courts. All of these things are controversial, they're not likely to be legal, uh, and I think they're a sign of desperation, which makes you think he's not going to be able to do it before uh, midnight tonight. So if he can't do it by midnight tonight, what is the next step, Iris? The next step, he has, a, he has a trick up his sleeve for that too. He wants uh, the, it got, the mandate, as it's called here, goes back to the president and the president nominates the party. It w should be the leader of the opposition, the one who has the next largest party after Netanyahu. Netanyahu is trying to organise that it should be the leader of a right-wing party, someone whom he has a better relationship with and has more control. But I don't think that's likely to happen either, just from leaks that are coming out of the president's residence. So what we're likely to see is another politician, not Netanyahu, not from Netanyahu's party nominated. They then have 28 days to try and form the Coalition for Change, as it's being called. And if all that fails, there'll be a fifth election, which is... And during that time, Netanyahu stays on as caretaker prime minister. And I think a fifth election is what he has in mind. We have to see if, if that's what Israel's fate will be. Here it's Makler reporting there from Jerusalem. Thank you.